king had deployed several maid servants to look after the comforts of all the four princesses. Of these maids, one was a very kind maid. She used to help the needy and give alms to beggars. One day, one of the princesses gave the maid some jewelry as a token of appreciation. The maid was very happy. She went out of the palace for some work. Suddenly, a poor old man came near her and said, Please help me. I am very poor. I have a daughter who is to be married, but I have no money to get her married. The maid felt very bad for the poor old man. So, she took out all her jewelry and gave it to the old man. The old man was very happy and blessed her. Then he went away. Meanwhile, the maid returned to the palace. She went to the princess's chamber. The Physician The princess saw that the jewels which she had given to the maid were missing. So, she asked the maid, Where is the jewelry I gave you? The maid told her everything. Instead of being appreciative, the princess got angry at the maid. She said, How dare you insult me by bestowing my jewels on someone else? Get out of the palace. So the poor maid was thrown out of service. Meanwhile, the king wanted to get his daughter's cure. One day, a famous physician from a neighboring country came to his court. The king told him about his four daughters and asked the physician if they could be cured. The physician began to laugh on hearing this. The king asked in surprise, Why are you laughing? Can't you cure my daughters? The physician laughed again and said, No. Then he left the court. Betal stopped telling the story here. The delicate maid. He asked King Vikramaditya, Vikram, which of the four princesses was the most fragile? And why did the physician decline to treat the king's daughters? If you try to shun from answering my questions, I will break your head into pieces. King Vikramaditya replied, Betal, you will be astonished. But none of the four princesses was delicate. Betal was really amazed to hear this. King Vikramaditya said, It was the maid who was the most delicate of them all. How? asked Betal. King Vikramaditya replied, Compassion and warmth hold more importance. Physical delicacy does not matter. The maid was very compassionate. Whenever she went out of the palace, she gave alms to the poor and the needy man. The physician refused to treat the princesses because no medicine in the world can change a person's nature. The first princess is married. Betal, as usual, tried to fly away because Vikramaditya had spoken. But as soon as he tried, to fly away, King Vikramaditya held him tightly. Betal said, Vikram, you are getting smarter. I will not go away. But you will have to listen to my remaining story and also answer my question. King Vikramaditya nodded his head. So Betal continued. After the physician's departure, the king married off his first daughter. Her husband always kept her in a shaded place. In time, she gave birth to a baby. The whole kingdom was lighted up with earthen lamps. Sadly, the princess was herself exposed to the lights of the earthen lamps. Her skin was burnt and blisters formed on her body. King Vikramaditya began to laugh. Betal was perplexed. King Vikramaditya replied, The sensitivity of the skin has nothing to do with the nature of a person. It is a kind of ailment. Betal kept quiet and King Vikramaditya walked on. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.